Coming up in 8 minute warm up. Welcome, I'm John, John Health and Fitness. Coming up is an 8 minute warm up. This is for demonstration purposes only, but this is a warm up I do for my classes. Typically an hour long class of strength cardio core. 16 moves, 30 seconds each. Let's get going. Alright, this is a basic true warm up. 8 minutes long. It's intended to slowly get you ready for the cardio and strength that's to come. Here we go. I start with big arm circles and a heel kick run, but it's a very slow motion one. So I'm drawing each foot up and kind of lowering it, going for maybe a little bit of a squeeze up top, working the hamstring and obviously the shoulders. I'm trying to keep my posture reasonably good up tall, keep my head up. Now for the second one, I'm going to reverse my arms and go high knees up front. So I'm lifting and lowering those knees. I'm going high knees, meaning roughly hip height. And this is all low impact to start. Most of this warm up is low impact. There are some moments when you can add some impact if you like. Those come later. Next, we'll start working the big muscle groups. Basic squats. I'm lifting one arm at a time, and kind of reaching out for an alternate reach forward, sitting back in the squat, knees and toes aligned well enough, keeping those knees behind the toes, just keeping everything safe. Really going for range of motion here. I'm not trying to get the heart rate up that much yet. Just trying to nail the form. Now I'm doing a shifting move here. This I learned from Jonathan Ross at a recent fitness convention. I'll throw a link down below. But notice my shoulders aren't rotating. I'm not creating rotation here. I'm just shifting my arms to the side, creating some instability for my core to handle. I'm trying to fire up those obliques a little bit. It's a subtle move, but you can feel it. And of course, I'm still squatting, so this is a solid minute of squats if you put the two together. All right, now I'm going wide, slowing things up a little bit. This is a sumo squat. You'll feel this in your inner thighs. You're working those adductors. That's what I'm trying to target here. Because I don't go super deep on these. My knees and toes are still aligned. Watch those knees caving in. That can happen with these wide ones. I'm going to draw my feet together and do a step out squat. So it's not a lunge, right? It's still a squat. I'm trying to go for a nice symmetry on each side, but I want to stand up tall in between. Feet coming together. Thing to watch out here is you notice I'm keeping my toes pointed out because that's how I squat essentially, how my hip geometry works. I try to point that inner toe forward, which you might want to do when you put your feet together, because that can mess up your alignment. And I can also reach forward, step back. Reach forward, right, step back, right, and so on. Really reaching away from the body, not swinging the arms up so much, but reaching forward. Quicken the pace a little bit. I'm kind of driving that heel into the mat, towards the mat to get that calf stretch now. Now I'm turning that into a full on step back lunge, and I'm adding that shifting technique again. Arms basically going in the direction of the inner thigh. I'm driving that back knee towards the mat. You know, I'm thinking about the fact I tend to have a little bit of posterior pelvic tilt here, but I'm doing a pretty good job keeping a cap on that. All right, now we're halfway through the warm-up. This is the second four minutes. Big high knee march. This is the low impact version. People who are ready to turn it up a notch, they can go high impact and turn it into a sprint.
From there, I'm turning to a kick run. Now I'm starting low impact again. People can certainly stay low impact. Keeping those big runner arms, and that's the high impact version. Yeah, I'm leaning back a little bit here, a little more than I'd like, but I'm really trying to get that speed up. From that, going back to the squats. So now I'm adding in a little reach. Now you'll note, I'm not trying to touch the floor here. I'm reaching forward. I want to keep that chest up, that head up, so I'm sitting back in the squat still. And that reach, I'm going up in the balls of my feet, so now the calves are getting involved too. This is when you, this is when you start getting a little sweaty. That heart rate's going to start coming up. We're going at a pretty decent pace here. Big muscles are involved. Now I'm going to slow down a little bit. I'm doing kind of a reach and turn. You want to start slowly because I'm just trying to loosen up that lower back and you don't want to rush it too much. But as it feels good, you can start sinking a little deeper, going a little quicker to do a nice big reach and twist. This should actually feel kind of good. Now I'm doing kind of a cable pull step out squat. By that I mean I've got my arm shoulder height and I'm pulling those elbows back with a bent arm. Big squeeze of those shoulder blades together. We're really trying to get everything involved here now. You can add a little bit of skip to this if you like in between. Now I'm still doing the step out squat, but now I'm reaching forward, both arms. Okay, so you'll notice you'll notice my pace is quickened here in the second half of the warm up. When I'm doing this with the music, which I do for classes, I'll switch songs to the four minute mark and kind of quicken the pace. This is the angled reach forward, step back. So I'm actually kind of reaching for a corner. And yeah, that's my dog. Corner to corner, reaching away from my body. Driving that heel to the floor. Last move, arms up at torso. I sit back in that lunge and I do a gentle turn again towards the inner thigh for a little stretch. This is it, just a little bit of a stretch. And you should be ready to get into your cardio strength workout after this. Couple more. That's how I warm up a class. Towards the end there, that warm up should start feeling like an actual workout. That's a proper warm up. Eight minutes sounds like a long time to warm up, but if you come up on it gradually, turn it into a workout towards the end, then you're already in prime when you start the actual workout itself. If you liked it, hit that like button down below. Don't forget, subscribe button, alert bell to get future videos. We do exercise, nutrition, and motivation. Catch you next time.